you that guys this is lesson 2 and we will in this lesson make a code to co to read from the from the screen you know two integers then we will compare those integers and we will do something about it so let's get it started we will enter here we will create a new numbers for example numbers.c new document and then we will we will include some libraries stdio.each then stdlib.h then we will create the main function so we will use um, numbers in this case we will and um, we will create integer variables that's a type in the C language so just um, to declare integers you just type int then the num then the name of the variable for example number one then number two and then a se a semicolon that's all so we will need to um, to read from the from the screen the numbers so just use a scanf present d is just to say to the program hey I will read a number so the d is for integer that's all and then you just type the ampersand and the name of the variable in this case number one so the same thing for the number two the ampersand d to say that it is an integer and the uh, ampersand and the name of the variable number two so le let's get uh, let's make a good code for the for the user what that means that means that if the pro if we run this program the, the user will not know what he should do you know because um the program will just wait to the user for to 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 enter a number you know so and the user doesn't know it so just let's do a printf and l and let's say hey and let's say to the user hey enter number one and let's do the same thing here for the number two another printf hey enter number two that's all mm, so now in basically we have those numbers you know um, because we uh, we read from from the from the user from the screen and um, now we want to compare those numbers for example let's say hey number two is equal to number one or number two is is greater than number one and uh, things like that you know so for that we will use an if if number one is equal just type two to twice equal and then number two so if number one is equal to number two let's do a printf saying that number one is equal to number two and then a slash n to do a, a new line else if now is if number two one sorry is greater than number two let's do another printf saying that the number one is greater than number two and a slash n to do the new line then another il else if saying that if the number one is l lower than number two we will just say to the user the number two sorry one is lower than number two and then just the return zero that's all guys so basically I will repeat again here 
we declare two variables of integer type number one and number two and this printf will, will say to the user hey enter number one so the user know what to do in when the program is started so now in, in this scanf we will read um, what the user types for number one and then the same thing for the number two basically the printf saying to the user enter the number and then we will read the number and here is here is the here is the new thing you know basically we want to compare these variables and for for each case we will use an structure if but if you notice here in the first if we use just if and then else if that's pretty important because here if those numbers are equal the program we will just run this line so basically the program we will run line per line and then if those are equal we will run this line but no this piece of code that that's pretty important and on the other hand if the number one is greater than number two the program we will just run this piece of code you know and we'll just imprint uh, printf this line that that's all so let's save and let's run this program so I will go to the folder where the where my code is and now um, I will compile GCC the number of my code in, in C and I will give it a new a new name numbers as you see here is my new file my new sorry my new file yeah but in binary that's what it means um, now let's run dot slash numbers so the program started hey enter number one that's for the user for example let's say my number is five enter hey enter number two let's say my my number two is three so as you can see the program print uh, the program is doing a printf hey number one is greater than number two and that's all guys basically it's just to it's just to understand uh, how if works and and that's all so thank you for watching